Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. This week, we're going to take a look at creating video for Instagram. We'll take a look at how to set up your project for three different aspect ratios that Instagram accepts. We'll look at best settings for exporting and compressing your video, and we'll take a look at how to get your video from Final Cut Pro to your phone so it can be uploaded to Instagram. So let's not waste any more time and get started. Let's take a look at the three aspect ratios Instagram accepts. First is Instagram's default square ratio of 1 to 1. This will give you a square picture of video used for majority of posts. I sometimes use a setting if I want to add text to my video, but don't want it to cover anything in the shot. Next is the vertical 4 to 5 ratio. This will give you a taller image that makes the most of your phone screen's real estate. This is great for videos of people because you can fit a full person in the frame and still keep them a decent size. And last is the landscape 1.91 to 1 ratio. This works great if your video has lots of landscapes and scenery in it and you want to keep that widescreen feel. So let's go ahead and create a project for square 1 to 1 ratio. From the menu bar, select File, New, and Project. Or use the keyboard shortcut command N. Let's name the first one square 1 to 1. Now in the settings, for format, select Custom, and enter 1080 by 1080 resolution. And select the frame rate you want. Keep in mind, lower frame rate equals smaller file size. Let's hit OK. In the viewer, we get a black square, and that's the size our video will be. Now I'll select a video from my browser and add it to my project. Because my video is 16 by 9, I get black bars above and below my clip. Sometimes I leave these bars in the clip so I can add titles and not cover any of my clip, but majority of the time, I just scale up my clip to fill the screen. Remember, most people will be watching this on a small screen device, so you want your clip to be as big as possible. Next, let's take a look at vertical 4 to 5 aspect ratio. This ratio makes even better use of your phone's screen. I'll create another project, vertical 4 to 5, select custom video format, and select 864 by 1080 resolution. If your source clip is 4K, you can select 1080 by 1350 for best quality. This may change in the future, but as of right now, 1080 is the max resolution Instagram allows. Now, when I drop a clip into my timeline, even bigger black bars appear above and below my clip. Now, the reason I chose the vertical aspect ratio is to make the most out of my phone screen, so to have black bars kind of defeats the purpose. I'll scale in on my subject to fill a frame. Now, in my example, the camera pans a little bit. So I'm going to add a couple of keyframes to keep my subject centered. And lastly, let's take a look at landscape 1.91 to 1 ratio. This is a little bit wider than the normal 16 by 9 widescreen ratio we're all used to. And it's going to appear relatively small on a phone screen. But sometimes cropping in on our clip isn't an option and black bars can be a little distracting. To create a landscape video, let's open another project and select 1800 by 945 video resolution. You still have to crop in a little on a 16 by 9 clip, but not nearly as much as you would with other ratios. Now let's take a look at how we get these clips from Final Cut Pro and upload them to Instagram. First we have to export our clips, and these are the settings I use. Other people's methods might be different, but I find these settings work best for me. I'll click the share button and select master file as my output source. Now keep in mind that you have to share this to your phone so file size matters. In settings, from the format drop down menu, instead of using audio and video, where the file size is close to 1 gigabyte, I'll select computer, choose the H.264 video codec, and keep my 1800 by 945 video resolution. This drops my file size to just over 80 megabytes, much more manageable. And lastly, to get your clip from your computer to your phone, you can use Google Drive, Dropbox, or one of many other cross-platform file sharing services. But if you're using an iPhone and a compatible Mac, using AirDrop is the simplest method I found. Right-click on your clip, and from the Share menu, select AirDrop. Your iPhone will show up in the Share menu. Click on it to send the video from your Mac to your phone. Pictures and videos will automatically go to your Photos app, where you can easily upload them to Instagram. So, that's it. That's how you get video from Final Cut Pro to Instagram while retaining the best quality. 
If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and share this with someone else who might also find it useful. If you want to learn more, check out the rest of my channel. New tutorial videos added weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.